Need for speed payback. Is it worth a buy? Let's read. <laughs> uh, if you guys didn't know Need for Speed Payback, I'm... Um... <laughs> oh, let's read the words, guys. Those words. Focus, Mac. Gotta get through this. Need for Speed, one of the world's best-selling video game franchises, I don't know why, returns with a vengeance in the new Need for Speed Payback. Set in the underworld of Fortune Valley, you and your crew were divided by betrayal, but reunited by revenge to take down the house, a nefarious cartel that rules the city's casinos, criminals and cops in this corrupt gambler's paradise. Craft unique rides with deeper performance and visual customization than ever before. Push them to the limit when you narrowly escape the heat, heat, heat from the cops, heat in epic cop battles, from insane heist missions to devastating car battles to jaw-dropping set-piece moments when the game just wrenches control away from you and says, F*** you, mama, I want you to watch this f***er. Need for Speed Payback delivers an edge-of-your-seat, adrenaline-fueled, action-driving fantasy. Or does it? Yeah, it's a great game. Guys, when this game dropped last night, I set my wheel up, set my pedals up. Cause, you know, it's PC. I, I, would, I would expect it to have steering wheel and pedal controls. And I sat there. The game dropped. I started the game. No wheel support whatsoever. None. In 2017, in a £55 game, you can't have wheels. Every game supports steering wheel and pedals. It just does for PC. Except this. When you drive a car, guys, do you sit on the f***ing roof? Or do you sit in an elevated position 20 feet behind the car? No. You sit in the driving seat with a steering wheel in your hands. That's the basics of a f***ing car driving game. Nah, not in this game. No cockpit view either, guys. So, no wheel support, no cockpit view. What is it then? I'll tell you what it is. It's a cutscene-driven, consoleized pile of shit. That's what this is. It's f***ing awful. Yeah, it's a great game. No, no, it's not. No, it's f***ing not, though. You see, I was brought up on Need for Speed and Test Drive. Both of them. I loved them both. There were some great Need for Speeds over the years. Some great ones. A lot of them linear, yes, but great for Hot Pursuit. I loved it. That was great, but Test Drive Unlimited 2 is still the best driving game ever made, simply because of the immersion factor. It doesn't need a story, yet Need for Speed spend all this f***ing money on these awful actors, with awful characters, with awful millennial shitty scripts. I'm just getting started, right? Touch my skills. Guys, I, I was ripping my headphones off. I couldn't even listen. I couldn't actually sit and listen to the cringe-worthy drivel of these characters in this game. The story is about betrayal and revenge. Your crew gets betrayed and you want revenge on the house. This big cartel who run the, everybody. The cops, cops. Criminals that run everything. And you want revenge on them. And it's awful. You're kind of doing awful missions that, like... There's a, a fixed race and, and you've got to kind of beat the driver who's supposed to win. But that's fine. Okay, that, we'll have that. We'll take that. But not done this way. You see, the, the plot was my crew that I'm with were going to drive a lorry into this race. And it was a, one of them lorries where you can drive up the back like a ramp, like a, a lorry with a ramp on it. And I thought, all right, that's going to be pretty tricky on a twisty circuit when I'm doing like 120, 130 mile an hour, lining myself up with this teammate who's going to suddenly drive one halfway around and I've got to drive up the ramp and all that so I'm, I'm listening on me the phone in the game and he's saying right I'm coming in you should be able to see us now and I'm looking I'm thinking that I can't see a f***ing thing mate and uh, there was nothing there then all of a sudden all of a sudden for no reason whatsoever I lost control of the car the, 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 the game took control just wrenched it off me just says, give me that thanks I was just sitting here looking like a spare prick in a wedding holding the controller looking at a movie I was doing nothing. And then all of a sudden, the car drove up to this truck that suddenly appeared out of nowhere. I did this ramp, bit of yee-haw, and then that was it. 
I'd won and done it. Next. And it was like, I, but I did nothing. I did nothing. I did nothing. And all the way through this game, guys, all the way through, the, every time there's some exciting moment, the game says, all right, uh, f*** you, mama. Uh, we are doing this. Watch, though. It looks so cool. Watch this. See the way the car's barrel rolling in the air. See that? See that? That's you in that car. You were doing that. Well, you, you, obviously, you're not doing that. We are doing it for you. But pretend that that's you. Aren't you cool? Wow. That's this game. I picked up some heat from the cops, guys, and um, I was miles ahead of these police. Then all of a sudden, rubber band, boing, the police were on me in their shitty cars that couldn't go anywhere near as fast as mine. And I've got nitrous kits on and everything. But the rubber banding says, oh, oh, you're up there. The police are here. Hang on, one sec. There you go. Police are on you now. There you go. And they were bashing me and bashing me. And I thought, right, okay, got to lose the police. I've done this in loads of games. Love it. Absolutely love trying to lose the police. See, in this game, guys, you don't have to lose the police. Well, you do. You, you do in the loosest possible sense. But none of this, I'll just take this left at the last second so the police go flying by and then I'm, you know, trying to lose them through the streets. You know, skillful driving. Nah, none of that. you got checkpoints. You just drive through the checkpoints. Yeah, but, yeah, but the police are on me. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just drive through the checkpoints. If you don't drive through the checkpoints, the police catch you. Yeah, but what, even if I lose them? Yeah. Uh, because it's not about the police. Ca it's, a, it's a checkpoint. This, it's need for checkpoints. Need for checkpoints. You literally drive through the checkpoints. Once you've drove through all the checkpoints while the police are bashing you and trying to box you in, the police magically disappear. Boop, gone. And then you're in a cutscene talking to somebody. It's like, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm now talking to somebody. Uh, the, the police were all over me literally one second ago. Now I'm talking to you in a cutscene. Yeah, yeah, you got away from the police and, and all that, and the police can't find you, and um, they're over there somewhere, and you've pulled over, and you're talking to this guy now about why the police were chasing you, and, 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 and shut up, will you? It's 2017. Kids love this. That's this game. Yeah, it's a great game. Everything you do in this game is just a simple case of driving from cutscene to cutscene through checkpoints. Whether you're racing, whether you're doing a heist, whether you're trying to catch somebody, whether you're trying to evade the police, it doesn't matter what you do, everything is the same. It's just checkpoint, 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 cutscene, checkpoint, 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 cutscene. And that's the game. There's events, yes, all around the world. It's an open world game with events like, you know, go through here at 140 miles an hour and you'll set off the speed trap and earn some rep. And you get money for doing races and stuff and you have to do the same race over and over again to grind for money so that you can buy the next car that you need. Because each car has a value based on its performance and there's different types of cars as well because you have off-road, drifting, racing, well, ramming, drag and stuff like that. And you have to have the right car for the right job. It's pointless taking a Ferrari, but there's no Ferraris in this. Ferrari, I think, have seen the light and says, F*** that, you're not using our cars. But yeah, it's pointless taking like a Lambo into an off-road race. So you have to have the right cars, and they have like a, a power factor, a number. And the race will say, oh, recommended power for this is 130. And you have to look to see if you have a car that's for that specific genre of race with that particular power. If you don't, you've got to go and buy one and you buy them with your currency that you get for winning races. Now, if you have no money, you've got to win races. So you have to keep doing the old shit over and over again, the old events over and over again, which is extremely boring because it, this game is extremely boring. You can upgrade your car and it's by the worst method ever. You have these cards, guys, cards these cards that'll say oh this is a level three exhaust oh you've you've got a level two exhaust do you want to equip this card to your car Fuck off you buy them at a shop in the game with in-game currency they'll probably be selling the fuckers in a crate it's just it's just all done so bad somebody has actually sat down guys and said Right, we're designing a Need for Speed game, and this is how the game's going to be. Someone's actually penned all this out. Somebody who's not a gamer. How can a gamer? It's impossible for a, a, a gamer, a racing gamer, to create this level of, of just incompetence in a game. You don't do cutscenes in a fucking driving game. You don't. You shouldn't do them in any fucking game, to be fair. But in a driving game, when you're about to hit that, when the shit's going to hit the fan... When the shit's about to hit the fan, that's when driving games come into their own. That's when you prepare, oh, this is going to be, a, this is going to be hairy. No, it's not. We'll take control from that. Thank you very much. Do you just sit down and relax? It's no. 
Do you know something even worse? When you actually miss a corner, which I'm doing all the time, driving with a controller. I can't drive with controllers. I'm so used to wheeling pedals, like, you know, in a proper dri driving game. But in this, if you go off-road a bit, right? Like, I was in this race, and I drifted it wide. I went through a barrier, and there was a cliff, but I was fine. I was regaining control, and I was just coming back on, and the game says, I know you were about to kill yourself. Uh, we've respawned you back on the track. What the f***? No, I wasn't. The fun of driving is correcting your errors. This game, now if you make an error, if you go off-road, if you even sniff off-road in this game when you're not supposed to, you just get magically teleported back onto the f***ing track. Guys, it's awful. I can't think of anything. Yeah, it looks good and sounds good. That's it. Everything else is f***ing awful. The driving's awful. It's so dumbed down. It's uh, You can drift by just wiping your face all over your controller and you'll drift around the corner. It's so easy. It's re Everything's easy in this game. It's just awful. It's a grindy, horrible, shitty story with shitty characters, with shitty mechanics, with shitty checkpoints, with shitty police, in shitty, shitty situations where you don't even do anything that's remotely fun. It's f***ing boring, f***ing awful, it's a f***ing disgrace to the series of Need for Speed. Well, to be honest, so was the last. It needs to die. Kill it. it just kill it, will you? Just kill f***ing Need for Speed because it's just a joke. It's a joke. It's a f***ing joke like most games are these days. So there you go guys, Need for Speed, payback. My old Yeah, it's a great game. But alright, all set aside. I'm a YouTube creator.